seventh graders, lessons 12 and 13 for math. We're looking at properties of inequalities and inequalities. Maybe. Doesn't ever want to work for you guys. Try again. There you go. Okay, so when both sides of an inequality are added or subtracted by a number, positive or negative, the inequality symbol stays the same, and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. When both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a positive number, the inequality symbol stays the same, and the inequality symbol is said to be preserved. When both sides of an inequality are multiplied or divided by a negative number, the inequality switches. So for example, from greater than to less than, or from less than to greater than. So the inequality symbol is then reversed. So determine if the inequality would be preserved or reversed after the operation. So we're gonna actually do this on the whiteboard. So we take add two to both sides. Now we're adding or subtracting any number. So it's going to be preserved. And now that we did that, is the inequality still correct? Yes. Negative one is less than seven. Okay. Here we are multiplying times a negative number. So negative three times negative one is three. Four times negative one is negative four. Here we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So we reverse it. Does it make it true now? Three is greater than negative four. Yes. So it does make logical sense. If you don't flip it for that case, then the inequality is incorrect, okay? So let's go back. And I forgot, we'll do this one quick, sorry. So the sum of two consecutive odd integers is more than negative 12. Write several two num true numeral inequality expressions. So two consecutive odd numbers, such as one and three. So we have negative five plus negative three. That would equal negative eight. So it's yes, less than. Negative three and negative one is negative four. Yes, less than. Negative one and one is zero, which is less or greater than, excuse me. Those are all greater than. <clears throat> one plus three is four, which is greater than negative 12 and seven and nine. So basically any number that's not that's going to get you negative 11 or higher is going to be just fine. So, Connor went to the county fair with 2250 in his pocket, he bought a hot dog and drink for 375, and then wanted to spend the money on ride tickets, which cost $1.25 each. Write an inequality to represent the total spent, where R is the number of tickets purchased, and then he wants to use the inequality to determine if he can purchase 10 tickets. So, we're going to do both of those. So here's our inequality, 1.25, which is the number of, or the cost of tickets, times R, which would be the number, plus 375 he already spent on his drink and hot dog, has to be equal to or less than 2250, because that's the amount of money he has. Okay? So now he wants to find out if he can buy 10 tickets. So we're going to take 1.25 times 10, because that's the number of tickets, plus 375, it's less than 20, less than or equal to 2250. So 1.25 times 10 is going to be 1250 plus 375 is less than or equal to 2250. 1250 plus 375 is going to give us 1625, which is less than or equal to 2250. That's correct. Okay. So now. He wants to find out the maximum number of tickets he can buy. So we're going to solve this inequality. So we subtract the 375. This is basically just like solving an equation, just a different sign. So subtract the 375 on both sides. So we get 1.25r is less than or equal to, uh, I think that's 18. Just a second, let me double check on my problem here and make sure we're doing it correctly. That way I don't tell you incorrectly. Okay. 
1875. Okay, let me divide by 1.25 on both sides to get R, which is less than or equal to 15. So he can buy 15 or less tickets for this 2250 that he's already spent the 375. Okay, and that's right here. 15 or less. Okay. Next problem. Shaggy earned $7.55 per hour plus an additional $100 in tips waiting tables on Saturday. He earned at least $160 in all. Write an inequality and find the minimum number of hours to the nearest hour that Shaggy worked on Saturday. So here's our equation. $7.55 per hour plus the 100 is greater than or equal to 160. So we're gonna solve for the number of hours he needed to do. So we subtract 100 on both sides. We get 755 H is greater than or equal to 60. We're gonna divide by 7.55 to get H, which is greater than or equal to 7.9 hours. So he probably rounded up to eight hours. So he probably worked a full eight hours. So that's where we're supposed to round up to, okay? Now, last thing, we're just gonna go over a couple more is the inequality preserved or reversed. So if we multiply this one by five, we're multiplying by a positive number. So the sign stays the same then it's correct. Negative 20 is less than 35. Here we divide by a negative 2. So we're going to get negative 1 is less than 2, which is correct. Okay? Excuse me. So that's it for this lesson. Um, your assignment will have a few that are going to ask you whether or not the inequality will be preserved or reversed. There will be a couple that ask you to solve the inequality like we did with Shaggy, and some will ask you, um, like the one where we found out if you could buy 10 tickets. So can Connor buy 30 tickets? And so you'd have to find out yes or no. That's it. Uh, have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Complete the Edmodo questions for lessons 12 and 13, and have a great day.